and welcome back today I'm going to show you all how to create your own operating system so first of all open your browser I'm using Google Chrome I'm opening that so now after it loads go to suzystudio.com suzystudio.com okay just should just mention in the link description so then before doing this you need to have a Google account or Yahoo or Twitter Facebook novel any one of this will work out not a problem okay so now uh, click on sign in or create account then uh, yep I'm signing it with Google starting sign in progress yep so this is the appliance that I have created till now yep now uh, this will not be appearing for you all because I have created and I've shared on the gallery so now uh, you have to create a new appliance here create a new appliance so you get it like this uh, choose a base template so you can choose from the following base template you have around 4 plus 5 9, 12. you have 12 base templates so you can use these and uh, so you get to, I'm choosing genome desktop select your architecture as a 32 bit or 64 bit uh, then uh, can name your blinds as okay I'm gonna name it as test okay test one so test one uh, is the appliance name this can be changed afterwards as I mentioned here create new appliance so the screen arrives up and then it takes some time to load it because it has to load all the basics yep so this is the start page of our blinds let it load a bit yep so this is the start page of our blinds so the start page you can even change your name also the blinds name okay we'll put it as Deans or let's let leave it test only test is better so test one I'm putting it the same because I want it like that then now here nothing is I had to switch to software tab and here you can just add the software resources that is okay I'm adding few games for now okay so games like Sudoku and um, or something like okay two games I'm I'm yes drawn and then um, I'm going to run into all groups Okay, we need my Mozilla Firefox Mozilla Firefox Fox yep. Mozilla Firefox. Oh, sorry, the name is wrong. Mozilla Firefox. Oh no, wait. Okay, a bit wrong. There's no Mozilla for. Hi, yeah. Here's it. I'm gonna add this up also, and then we can have a Google Chrome, but the type is Chromium. Chromium. Chromium is one which I wanted. Yep, Chromium. Here's it. 
Chromium. Okay, now here it shows you how much MB of download you had to click. And you need around 490 MB, means you can put it into a CD or else into a 1 GB memory card. Then shift to the configuration tab. Uh, you have around 7 tabs over here. In the general tab, you find all those default time zones, look, languages, network, firewall, if you want, and even the users. I'm not selecting any users for now. If you want, you can click over here and add a new user and set your own password. And then uh, you can, okay, I'm going to select Asia. Asia. And uh, as I live in Calcutta, I'm selecting Calcutta. Calcutta. Here we go. Calcutta. And then it will saving. Let it save. Then now move into personalization over here. See, it has increased to 530 MB. Now. And then you can select your own logo if you want. Or else you can put, upload a logo. And here you can select a background. This is one. This is one. Or you can upload your own background. Also. Then that's it over here. Nothing more. And let's start up. Here you can put graphical login. And it's a normal Windows login you can get. And then the end user license agreement. Click on this and you get your notepad type thing. Type all the this over there. Then server. You can select your own server if you want my SQL servers and all sorts of things. And then you can put auto desktop user login. You have to add a user over personalized tab. So, I uh, yeah. No, general tab. Sorry. The general tab here you should add users. Add a new user, then you get access to that. Then the appliance. You can select the disk in memory, like, okay. Uh, I'm putting it to 1024 MB. Means around 4 MB. No, oh, sorry. 1 GB of RAM. So, 1 GB of RAM. If you want, you can put excellent number, that's P A E. In run scripts at the end or whenever the appliance boots then files you can put your own music at the starting and you can do all sorts of things you can just click upload file here you get it then now after coming to the build tab just select I prefer USB stick hard disk image because it's the best you can just insert a USB pen drive and then copy that uh, whatever the download file you can burn it to that and then use it or else use a live CD DVD that also I prefer because you need a CD for this because it's 530 MB and then just click on build you get it then after building it I'm not gonna build now okay then uh, coming back to home once you get a test drive over here after building, you can change the version number here. And uh, then, uh, see, you get it over here. This is our appliance. Okay, you can even release versions. You can even publish this on the share tab at the end. And then, uh, this is the My OS Evergreen OS, which I have created. My own logo, as you can see. Okay, then uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Thank you and good night.